here are 10 chat GPT use cases. This goes through the different apps that people have built on top of chat GPT. So let's go through them. Number one, connect chat GPT with WhatsApp. Number two, chat GPT writer. It uses chat GPT to generate emails or replies based on your prompt. And this is a Google Chrome extension. So if you're using Google Chrome, you can add it and try it out for yourself. Web chat GPT. This gives you relevant results from the web. Number four, YouTube summary with chat GPT. It generates text summaries of any YouTube videos. This is really important if you're looking to just get a brief summary of everything that you're watching, or maybe it's a podcast and you don't have time to watch the whole thing. Number five, tweet GPT. It uses chat GPT to write your tweets, reply, comments, etc. Six, search GPT. It displays the chat GPT response alongside the Google search results. Seven, chat GPT or all search engines. So you can now view chat GPT responses on Google and Bing. Okay, so it helps you when you're deciphering different answers and you know helps speed up some things. This one I like in number eight, save all of your prompts. The chat GPT history extension has you covered. This could help as well when a lot of people are in different Reddit groups or Twitter and people will write out their prompts that will get them very specific answers. This helps you to think about how you can frame your question or the conversation as you're going through it so you can have better results. Number nine, remake a video. That allows you to pick a video you liked and visit. It then gets the transcription, and then once done, it brings it back into ChatGPT and summarizes it. So then you can create another video off of it. So this allows you, if you're perhaps looking at another video that you that's in your industry or your niche, and you want to kind of have your own flavor and you don't know where to begin, this kind of helps you because it will bring out the prompt for you. And number 10, number 10 search what people are prompting with Flow GPT. Again, this helps you with the prompting and going through uh, the process of creating better questions and, and go from there. Now, if you liked those use cases and you're thinking about what other tools are out there and you want me to start talking about the list of different other AI tools besides ChatGPT, let me know in the comment section down below. But if you want to see this for yourself, check it out on LinkedIn. Look for ChatGPT. All right, everybody. Have a great day. Goodbye. If you like this, like and subscribe. Okay now. All right. Bye-bye.